Okay. As we will start now sharing, let us put care into holding the high and calm atmosphere while we share our best thoughts on our next steps, both the points that have been already listed and any new additional points. Um, Alexander will put the, the slide maybe again with the list. Um, yeah, and as you share, uh, if anything new comes up, uh, Alexander will will add them, add your points to this list. So let's open the floor now for the sharing. Robert, please unmute yourself. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Hi, Robert. Hello, Yuta. Thank you for that. I wanted to make a comment from our group regarding the third dot point, research on what is the soul of a nation. The group of which I'm a part in Australia has just today, in fact, was yesterday at our time, but today in everybody else's time, to work with a statement which is given by DK in Glamour, a world problem. It's on page 231. Um, it says, it, it refers not specifically to the nation, but to the group. He's giving Glamour in pages 200, around about 225 through to 265, gives a set of very explicit instructions to his discipleship group regarding the conduct of a, of a group meditation. The meditation he is preparing them for is on the dissipation of world glamour, which is not specific what, specifically what we are working with here. So that some of the instructions relate to his great care to protect them from the glamour which they are going to address. He is concerned that they will become, that they, there is a risk of becoming absorbed in the glamour itself and therefore a danger to the group and the individual. So some of the instructions are in the form of protective, protective formulae. However, most of the instructions are simply about the conduct of a group meditation and they are very very interesting um, i'll put a note in the text box it's pages 225 to 65 but on 200 page 231 there is a statement which i find quite striking it says that the group soul is the realized unity of the souls of all group members we have begun to think about that and its, implica its implications for our group are clear, but it's the implications for the national soul which are the most, uh, the most striking. Because it would seem that if the Tibetan is saying that the soul of a group is the realized unity, it's, it's a very interesting phrase, the realized unity, of the souls of the group members, then that would seem to suggest that the soul of the nation is the real, the realized unity of the souls of its people. The Tibetan is quite consistent in his use of the word nation. He does appear to use it in a straight dictionary sense. That is that the nation 
is the people living within a specified area with a single government, a single government. Of course, it has other attributes like the land on which it lives, its fauna and its flora, most certainly its culture. But he does appear to be talking about the people when he refers to a nation. So that does bring us to that thought. Is the soul of the nation the realized unity of the souls of the people? Mm. If that's true, if that's true, I'll just say one more thing. It would seem that the emergence of the soul of the nation would occur as the individual soul awareness of the people grows. And as that happens, of course, we would see the emergence of the integrated personalities of the individuals of the people. And as that happens, it would seem then that we will also see the gradual integration of the personality of the nation within its soul. Mm -hmm. I will mute now. Thank you, Robert. Very rich. So you as uh, in the Australian group, you you have now started to work with this to to understand um, the soul of a nation more deeply. We have embedded it in the meditation. We, as you suggested, was it Uta or Alexander who suggested that we work with a, a meditation that we don't fiddle with it, we work with a steady meditation and we have for several months, but we changed it just today, at least we over, over the last few days, last mm -hmm. couple of weeks, we have, um, we have made the first major change for quite a long time. And one of the changes was to incorporate this phrase, first of all, to quote that when we refer within the, in the uh, alignment phase of the meditation, when we refer to the soul of the group, we consciously sense that we take the Tibetan's instruction, that is that it is the realized unity of the souls of the group members. We have specifically included that wording within the meditation in the form of when we say that we seek the soul of the nation we have added this understanding this to be the realized unity of the souls of its people mm -hmm. we don't know this is just our sense from the instruction that that's what it is mm -hmm. so we have just now begun to work with it we haven't seen the mm -hmm. outcomes of that work yet yeah interesting will be interesting in a, in, in a few months to hear uh, what are your impressions on this. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Uta. Maria Cristina, please unmute yourself. Thank you. <clears throat> and um, telepathy, the telepathic rapport is in gear. Um, I'm working with Little Triangle and outreach to others working to evoke the soul of the United States of America. And actually, we're working along very similar lines of realization, considering that we as personalities contribute to our nation's personality. We as souls contribute to the groups, the, the national soul. And so we stand in the words of Manly Hall as national disciples, national discipleships, uh, working to build the national Antakarana, 
between the sixth ray personality of the United States and its second ray soul, which seems to fall in line with what Robert was saying. Slightly different words, but it seems the same process or thoughts. Um, the, and we're hoping to look at the laws of the soul in relation to the nation. But I would just like to share the souls of the nation. The, the Tibetan refers to the Goic Lotus that we are familiar with for individuals leading to group identity. But he also provides us with a soul for humanity, a egoic lotus for humanity that we have started to look at anyway, with the knowledge mm. petals, the love petals, and the will petals. But, but described in terms of humanity in education in a new age, it's only three or four pages. Um, mm. Where he talks about, for example, the first tier of petals having to do wait a with... Minute. Wait, wait a minute, uh, Maria Christina. I'm a bit concerned that we go into too much detail here. Okay. Uh, uh, let's focus on this sharing on our next steps as Thank an intergroup. You. That we come Thank out of this. I say it for everyone, of course. Huh? Um, Thank you. Like what? What's your sense of what? What could be the next steps? What is of importance? Um, the yeah. unfolding egoic lotus of the soul of nations. Okay. So also the the, the emphasis on the soul of nations, souls of nations. Thanks, Maria Christina. Thank you. This is Margot. From the perspective on the pinnacle in Canada, the energy flow among nations appeared to be coming smoother. There are still some glitches, yet they're smaller. With East and West dynamics, there is a sense of strong perception of a divide, yet as our work continues, this perception is softening and shifting and the underlying unity is beginning to appear. With the triangle of, the, of Russia, the United Kingdom and the United States, there seem to be two points active and a connection among them. And the third point was awakening, stretching, beginning to open its eyes as if from a long sleep. Movement among nations, interplay between Ajna and heart of the planet is a vibrant movement. Mm -hmm. What's next in our work together? As we continue our focus, international unity in diversity, the harmony in action is beginning to unfold. The triangle of Russia, the UK and the USA is activated and magnetic. Trusting the process as we continue our work in our national groups and our interactive work. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Margot. Sonia, please unmute yourself. Hello. Thank you very much for the very nice uh, 
presentation and the discussion. I have just one comment um, about your question for the STAR model. You said that with a race that they will that you would like to dedicate the lab session if we are interested. So I would like to to express my interest for this. It sounds very interesting, and maybe if I may expand this to something else. Now you speak about race <clears throat> that we will um, represent the race. And you were thinking about putting together groups from different nations, um, maybe with the same race or maybe not. So one other idea is to have a big enough group to represent each of us a nation and align our centers, align, align the heart of its nation, for example, to the center of the earth and other things. I mean, this one can explore in a way to to have an alignment and maybe in fact practically to align ourselves with the nations so that we can be of more use that's one thing and just to mention that in, in greece we have meditations every sunday for for greece to align with the planetary uh, happenings and we are two people in this group now uh, olga and me we take play we take part in your um, meeting that we also collaborate there. And this is also, if you're interested, we can share with you what we say in, the, in this meditation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Good to hold it, yes. Good to know of, of all, uh, all our uh, work so we can connect with each other and what you said, you know, to, uh, to hold this connection in our consciousness. We are already quite a group of uh, up to 60, 70 people uh, standing on these different pinnacles. We were thinking at one point, we were thinking to have a map and Bernard um, uh, volunteered to make a map of all of our groups. Maybe it's becoming ripe soon. <laughs> Thank you. And the star, I have heard this. Thanks. Yeah, this is the time for you to make requests to say what you would like to to have in the in the ne next lab sessions. Jonathan, please unmute yourself. Thank you, Alexander. Hello, everyone. Um, Hi, Jonathan. Uh, Yes, uh, two or three observations from uh, stemming from the meditation and the uh, the list of possible next steps. Uh, for one, I'm interested in astrology and rheology. I'm no expert, um, but I have found it useful to add the motto and to uh, seek to discern something of the purpose of a particular nation. So, for example, for Britain, the motto is, I serve. For America, I light the way. And for Russia, I believe it's, uh, I link two ways, east to west, something of this. I find these very, very uh, potent to take into the meditation and we get a, a sense of the purpose of a particular nation. Um, the meditation that I'm uh, participating in, in fact, for the American nation is a very interesting one. It 
uh, essentially aligns and precipitates the energy of the plan and then directs that energy energetically, if you will, through the offices and departments of government. So you might say that's more of a sort of a first ray uh, activity, but it's definitely utilizing the three centers, you know, the head center, heart in the head and the Ajna center. Um, in terms of intergroup work, interesting to observe the triangle between Britain, America, and Russia. On one level, it's, you know, there's some resistance there. On another level, there's a tremendous potential. And it appeared as a pyramid. Actually, I would say uh, a tetrahedron to be exact, you know, three-sided. But it was both reaching up to a synthetic point and downward as well. Now I interpreted that in in really um, recognizing the resistance between right relationships and cooper cooperation as soul nations, which we need to account for. It's the personality aspect certainly we can simply just call it the resistance to good relationships and then upward to that soul nature which is connecting as uh, you have observed is activating and that was really uh refreshing so that was something new i i i've been working with this with others as a triangle but now i'm beginning to see that it has more of this uh multi-dimensional aspect to it and that uh, if I may just add one further point it provides an alignment between the threefold nature the personality of these three nations and their collective higher purpose and that central axis if you will uh, can be useful in terms of transmutational work and so i'm calling it a triangle of transmutation america britain and russia and the group that i'm working with with uh, lirita and deborah and others has been learning about and developing uh, techniques in meditation of a transmutative nature. We're finding it very uh, inspiring and very powerful as a matter of fact, in terms of the realizations and the uh, possibilities of affecting that wider field of uh, intergroup consciousness. That's all for me, thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Very rich. Lots to think about, lots to explore. Hello, um, this is Kit from the USA. And um, I want to first, I want to thank you for distributing the um, meditation work that we could do for the summit between Presidents Putin and Biden. Thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. I, I also want to say that a map would be very helpful as it would also be helpful if people share what nation they're working with. Because I know that in our triangle, uh, the triangle that I'm a, a part of, we always are linking up with each nation uh, that we know from this group, but I don't always know what all the groups are. I only sort of know if it's been expressed in our creative lab. 
So that would be that would be very helpful. And um, also part of our meditation is is really seeing all the lights of each um, nation where there are people building the soul of that nation. And then um, also knowing that this lighted network there, it's quite possible that people are doing this in other nations uh, or who are not, you know, yet involved in our group as well. And so mm -hmm. I think uh, to be thinking of them as part of our subjective group, um, even if we don't know specifically who they are. And the last thing I wanted to say was during the meditation, what came um, for me is that uh, since the focus was East and West, what came for me was that in the West, we think of democracies where the gift is really individual liberty, but that individual liberty can be to the detriment of the idea of being communal. And then in the East, when I think of Russia and China, and especially uh, as far as I know, we have no one on our in our lab who's from China, but it is uh, a country of uh, great impact in our world today. But in communism, the gift of uh, the gift is that idea of communal, but it can be ex expressed to the detriment of liberty. And then the pandemic is the gift of the interconnectedness of all life. And, and that I think continued uh, new variants will be emerging until we have a way of grasping this idea of interconnectedness. And that's one of the gifts, in a certain way, of the energy of the Aquarian age, is to have a recognition of the gifts of each nation and to include them, and then including our own nation, of course, and to include them, and then go to transcending them to the interconnectedness of all, all life. And, um, and I think if for those who feel called to do the intergroup, internation work, perhaps it would be having a way of including, acknowledging the gifts of each nation while transcending them to a higher picture or higher recognition, and then that interconnectedness of all life. Hmm. Thank you, Kit, for this synthetic vision. This can, this is really can be a, the, uh, a gift of us being from so many different nations that we can, we can um, open our consciousness to what you have just described. It's a big opportunity that we have together. Thank you. Welcome. There is a sharing from Risa um, that uh, I reposted to the chat section. I can read it. Yes, please. There is the need for the physical, emotional, and mental healing of the nations calling in the soul of the nations for the soul is the healer and the com comforter. This is a prayer we say for the nations every morning. Solar angel, diamond light beam, invoking the soul, the solar angel, diamond light beam, Om, Vajra Sattva, Vajra Diamond Sattva Beam. Keep your pledge to us, as Vajrasattva stand near me. Be steadfast toward me, be well pleased with us, be well fulfilled on account of us, be attached to us, 
grant me all accomplishments and in all actions make our thought beneficent O oh, blessed one diamond nature of all the buddhas do not abandon us do not abandon the nations be of diamond nature or great pledge being the solar angel collects himself scatters not his force but in meditation deep communicates with his reflection personality physical body emotions lower mind we imitate the solar angel strong invocation thank you risa I believe, Robert, you raised your hand again. Thanks, Alexander. Um, Uta, this is in response to request. This is a request um, for consideration. Um, I, like most or many others who have spoken, I'm, I'm very interested in hearing more about the star model. And the idea of the map is very appealing. Um, the thing that I wanted to ask about or suggest is because the notion of a plan of the planetary Arjuna center is quite quite central to the way we approach the meditation of this group, um, I wondered if we might discuss what is our understanding of just what is the planetary Arjuna center. Oh yes. Okay, thank you. Another very practical uh, area of research. I can uh, I can add to that that my uh, impression through you from the meditation was that um, very it's somewhat very similar to what Robert just said and what Margot said before. It's uh, it's an important experiment to explore what does it mean to be in planetary Ajna center and its in its relations to the planetary heart center and. Uh, I don't want to use the word no matter what uh, we're going to do what we decide to do as an activity, but uh, it's it would be secondary. Let's put it that way. Uh, uh, in regard to this experiment of exploring what that means to be the planetary Ajna center and practicing working as if being in that position. Secondary to what? I didn't didn't understand what you. Uh, I, I mean that it's any other topic that we choose as a focus for our work would be secondary towards this uh, experiment of exploring and learning to become a functional planetary Ajna center. This mm -hmm. is feels as a, the most the most important. Thing at this point, the most important. Thing. I'd like to offer a story, yeah. if I may. Mm -hmm. um, what came to my mind just as you were asking that question, Robert? Um, it may be that it's a little bit like the offices of the uh, Mahakohan or the Manu or or the Christ. These are offices. And as such, um, the Ajna Center or the planetary Ajna Center might be considered in that light that it's a it's an office which has a particular function. Uh, what is the function of that center? Well, it's more easily 
perceived perhaps if we ask what is the function of the heart center, the planetary heart center. But I would suggest that the if it's an office, okay, then it would be that function which is uh, awakened in the discipleship uh, of humanity, capable of taking up that function. That that might be perhaps an interesting line of thought. Yes. Yeah, okay. So definitely let's make this uh, a focus point, an important focus point. We have started with it. Uh, uh, to me, as I said before in previous uh, uh, labs, I, I this was my big surprise. Uh, in our work together to to get this more tangible taste of what it is um, to work as in this function of the planetary Ajna. Mm -hmm. I agree, Sasha, to make this a very high priority. Okay, any other feedback, um, wishes, ideas? There are three hands raised. Uh, I'm not sure who should go the first. Uh, Jonathan, Robert, Sonia. You are all unmuted. Please unmute yourself. Can I speak? Um, I just wanted to add on the Planetary Arjuna Center that uh, it seems to me that there may be a difference between the Planetary Arjuna Center and the Arjuna Center of Humanity. And that's part of the question in my mind. And I think to some extent we have been working with the Arjuna Center of Humanity, although I'm not sure about that. But, mm. but it would be good to have some clarity to discuss with a view so, to some clarity. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. I just wanted to ask if you plan to send out a meditation, meditation proposal for this coming project, which we can all comment on. Yeah, we are now uh, collecting all your, your ideas and uh, all, all your feedback, and then we will take time to reflect on all this and come up with the next steps and for sure there there will be uh, a meditation coming out of it um, and let's see what else will be will be happening between all of us uh, now as a result of this sharing And also, um, if anything more comes up, uh, please, uh, we, we will welcome um, also your written feedbacks. Okay, thank you. To, to my okay. email address. Great, thanks. Yeah. yeah, we will take a summer break of one month, um, so it gives us some time to ponder and uh, 
Yeah, let it let it percolate now. How to continue this work together? So anything you would uh, what what comes up in your meditations, uh, let us know, so we can take it into consideration. Our next meeting we have planned for the twenty fourth of August. So we skip one month. Uh, what is your group vision for the continuation of this work? Um, what I already said, uh, I mean, uh, first of all, uh, a meditation that is continual and that uh, will be tweaked, will be developed from uh, building on the on the on the previous one um, as we have been doing and uh, it takes of course into consideration all that comes from all of us um, so we are exploring through these meditations together we are exploring deeper and deeper like like we have um, discovered uh, this uh, taste of uh, this new strata of the Ajna Center, common Ajna Center. Um, and we are uh, continuing to be committed to nurturing, uh, helping in any case, in any way we can, the, the, the new forming little units, um, national units, and according to what, uh, what comes now from you, uh, we will provide the space and and uh, the information, um, the focus for whatever you have now shared and what you will share. Um, and I personally am interested now in seeing what will come out here, especially I, I uh, especially and our group also. Uh, the Jews and the Germans, we are uh, very interested in inter-nation um, relationships, especially now, lately, uh, about the East and the West. And uh, so this will be our interest. Um, yeah, and we will co-weave this together. And I think as we go, the group will become more more an entity and speaking as a group. So it will be less um, the way it has been until now that we uh, just give uh, what we can give, uh, but that there will be more um, more your your voices also and 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 your gifts flowing in into this intergroup so we will will be uh, one group entity and um, now these little first signs of uh, looking together at the wider picture understanding together uh, the, the, the international uh, map it's the first signs for me that that we are becoming a, a group instrument or well, we can become a group instrument and then we will open up to our higher guidance uh, to know what can be our best contribution as an intergroup instrument. Hmm? Thank you, Uta. Thanks to the groups. Yes, Holding great the gratitude. There is one more okay. comment in the chat and one more raised hand. Uh, we have mm -hmm. left. I will uh, unmute Marta and will read the comment from Sabine, who wrote request uh, forming cooperation between groups. 
taking on an integral project work with a global issue. Mm -hmm. Thank you for thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Sabine, for, for saying it so clearly. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all for um, giving us an opportunity to think together on this important work that we're doing. I have a general remark and a specific one. The general one is, is that it seemed to me that there are uh, three important lines of thinking. Um, the first, in, in diving more deeply into our understanding of the terms that we use, um, which is universal to all of us, and that will uh, bring us together as we come to a shared understanding. Uh, and the second area that it seemed to me was in terms of these proliferating groups um, that in itself produces soul consciousness, there's a focus on transmutative techniques and that we're, we're grappling with them as a unit and it might be well to just um, identify within that uh, that context. The third category, um, and I just wanted to offer a specific suggestion in relation to the interplay among nations and uh, along the lines of our work as a United Nations is the um, is to, within our soul group of our nations, there are certain particular functions, both on the level of personality and, pers and soul, which are themselves global. For example, some countries have far more to do with the state of our economies um, and the mindsets that influence those economies. So that while, so that in in the context of formalizing an interrelationship with our countries that within our national groups we begin to think about where have our countries exerted both for elevation and involution uh, purposes that influence on those issues we call global um, issues that have to do with the shiftings of countries, the increasing interrelationship of others, the uh, numbers of people who have no citizenship, the numbers of people who have dual citizenship, those kinds of changes. So when we think about, uh, uh, I would, I'm, I'm suggesting that we look into this contemplation on the soul of souls of our nations in a dynamic way that influences the global uh, uh, perspective of the planetary soul. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of Lots of different aspects to consider. Thanks, Marta. Okay. I think we are at the end now of our uh, lab session. Um, maybe, Sasha, you can do your, your announcements. And then uh, we would like to complete this um, lab session with the reciting of the great invocation on uh, in English and in Russian to set a little um, synthetic note. Um, okay, so Sasha, you go first. Yes, thank you, Uta. I just wanted to add the, the last comment that I put it on the screen. It came from chats, uh, through the chat from Anna, uh, who wrote, expressing the soul rays of our nations, linking with our potentials and missions. Mm -hmm. A 
And uh, yes, as always at the end, I want to share information about our coming program and webinars, inviting you to join us. Um, today is the first day of the solar festival. So every day, every hour uh, counts of uh, like every hour of work. So uh, there are many opportunities on different platforms for us to be together, to meditate together. So let's use this really highly valuable hours. Um, the 2025 initiative invites you to join for two gatherings, uh, this full moon additional gatherings, one on uh, June 25th. Uh, we call a gathering in a circle uh, for the meditation for the common good. Uh, and in this cycle of cancer, the topic for our meditation will be new world religion, building a lighted house for the soul of humanity. So please join us for the meditation, invoking the vision of the plan. And on June 26, uh, our uh, moon webinar, Cancer Gathering uh, in the Garden. Our guests uh, in the garden this time will be Michael Robbins and Kathy Newburn. And we will reflect and share on the topic, what is true now and what is the next right thing. And uh, July 10th, sorry, it's, it's missed spell. Yeah, July 10th, it will be our new moon meditation for the common good. Thank you. And we we'll continue our daily vigil program, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much, everyone, for this inspiring meeting. And uh, stay in touch if there's anything coming up. Um, so we continue building the field uh, over the next two months. Um, and let's now all hold the East and the West and the dynamics in between as we will listen now to the great invocations by Jonathan of the American group and uh, Dennis or Sveta from the Russian group. Sasha, can you unmute Sveta? Uh, yes, Sveta, are you unmuted? Please unmute yourself. Пожалуйста, включите ваш микрофон, Света, Денис. Да, Саша. Mm -hmm. Okay. Великий призыв. Let us take a few moments to link up with one another. And on behalf of our nations, align upwards to the Christ as the planetary heart center. And from the Christ upwards to Shambhala. And from the Christ downward to humanity. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of man. Let light descend on earth. From the heart of God, from the center, which is the heart of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. 
from the center where the will of God is known. Let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Из точки света, что в уме Бога, пусть свет струится в уму людей, да сойдет свет на землю. Из точки любви, что в сердце Бога, пусть любовь струится в сердца людей, да вернется Христос на землю. Из центра, где воля Бога известна, пусть цель направляет малые воли людей, цель, зная которую, служит учителя. Из центра, что мы называем родом человеческим, пусть план любви и света осуществится. И запечатана будет дверь, за которой зло. Да восстановят свет, любовь и могущество план на земле. Mm-hmm.